Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Wanted to make this video because, hey, I haven't been on for a few days and I figured I'd give you guys a little update on our good friend Chili, who is back from his vacation from YouTube. Well, not necessarily a vacation on his accord. Uh, more like he was forced off YouTube for uh, a little over a week. And he's back now. He's back and uh, he put one video and a actual, and I'm wanting to talk about this because I want to kind of give Chili some props. Now, do I believe a word that is said in this community post? Uh, definitely not. Uh, Chili hasn't really given me uh, a reason to believe anything he says. But I do want to give him props on something that he did kind of point out. Now, I don't know if he took this quote from something. Uh, I don't think he wrote it himself. Uh, I don't I, I don't. I don't think so. But I, you know, I, he probably copied and pasted from something. But I, either way, it's actually a pretty good community post. But Chili is back and it's gone pretty much as, as expected. Uh, a lot of trolling, uh, which is par for the course. And uh, yeah, I think he put out one video. I don't know what the stipulations are for his coming back. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, now, he may be back permanently, but he may also be under investigation. Uh, there may be things he's not allowed to do now, and uh, we'll see. Now, I do see that his uh, uh, subscriber count is going up, even though there's no content, which, again, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say what everybody else is thinking, but, you, you know, you know, how do you have this much uh, interaction uh, which, you know, if he has 50-some thousand people watching him, uh, how do you... Things don't add up, okay? It just doesn't add up. Uh, I'm not saying he paid for it, but... Come on. Come on. We, we, we kind of know. In my opinion. I can't prove that, but it, it's just my opinion. But anyways, Chili is back with much fanfare, and uh, we'll see. Now, I wanted to kind of touched a little bit on this community post because, you know, I thought it was kind of deep. Uh, and it's mostly true. Um, and I agree with him. Uh, yeah, I know. It's weird. I agree with Chili. But let's go ahead and look into it right now. So, let's go ahead and try to re read it. Uh, and I'm not very good. You're probably going to hear me just stumble all over the place because, yeah. But anyways, let's go. Let's try to remember that most people are afraid. Again, strong start. That is true. Most people are afraid of something. Most people shiver with fear when they hear the word change. That is true, too. People don't like change. Some people do, but most people prefer things that remain the same. And, you know, I, I'm not very, you know, well, as an IT guy or graphic designer uh, and, you know, things that's gone on in my life recently, uh, change has been pretty crazy. Uh, and, you know, I uh, have this thing called imposter syndrome, which, you know, I don't think the things that are changing in my life, I don't deserve. Uh, but that's called imposter syndrome. But anyways, let's get back to it. How many people go to the same barber, hairstylist, when they don't really like the cut they get? You, one of them. Now, I don't know if that was just bad grammar there uh i'm assuming it is because it don't make sense uh the, the thing about the barber shop yeah yeah you know I, I i get bad haircuts from time to time uh for, for the most part i like to go to the person i know the person that knows my hair and knows exactly what i like um and i've been going for the same one for years you know going off to another barber is just like damn i hope they don't fuck it up but you know it's it is what it is i wear a hat right now so but i do got to get a haircut this weekend so that is something think about it you might be <laughs> you might be and not realize that the fear if change lands you a bad haircut every month or two let me you might be and not even realize that the fear if change lands you a bad haircut every month or two why fear Fear paralyzes. I'm trying to be a kinder every day. I'm trying to be kinder every day. Okay, see, I, I told you, I stumble. I stumble when I read things. It is cringy. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, ha ha, ha ha, you can't read. 
<laughs> I'll keep remaining open with others. Be well. And that's it. And he has the uh, he has the actual little picture uh, that's you know inspiring. I guess nobody nobody really has their shit together. We're all hurting and learning and growing in different ways. Keep going. Yes, that is true. Uh, everything in there is pretty accurate. Uh, even how badly I read it, or maybe maybe it's just bad uh, grammar. I don't know. I can't read very good to people because I stumble over everything, and that's just a normal thing with me. You guys probably known long enough that uh, I I shake and tremble and stutter and everything, and that's the best I could do. Uh, so Chili has a point. Chili has a point. Uh, I don't know if he took this from somewhere else, but he has a point. People are afraid of change. People are afraid to speak up. What I can add to this is how many of you have problems coming to family, friends, a doctor, psychiatrist, counselor, telling them, telling them your problems that you have? Um, you know, what, what if, you know, you, you, I don't know, let's just say uh, you had a bad day at work. But you don't want to talk about it because you're afraid that people don't care or they think you're weak. Uh, this is the same reason I had problems going to a doctor or talking to my friends and family about having depression. Because most people see depression as uh, weakness. A lot of people do. And a lot of people use depression uh, as a crutch. Now, we see this all the time. Uh, so I've been accused of this and, you know, I wish it was wasn't true. Uh, I wish people didn't see it that way. I don't like people seeing my cries out. And, I, you know, I've got to the point where I'm pretty comfortable with talking to people about my problems. Uh, you know, I worry about, am I going to lose my job tomorrow? Is my car going to break down? Am I going to lose my wife? Am I going to lose my legs? Um, and, you know, and what's going to happen? Um, and when things suddenly change in our lives, we kind of get confused. We get confused and we don't know how to handle it. Like, for instance, Boo just comes up and hangs out with me while I'm recording a video. Now, Boo, Boo is my uh, other buddy. Come on, Boo, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get off here, my dude. But anyways, just like that, that's that's a good example of change. There was a cat that jumped on my desk and. Uh, I had to uh, overcome that because it could have ruined the video. But the cats don't ruin videos. Cats make videos better. So just consider it as a, um, a, a little thing. Cats always make things better. I'm trying to think. Cameo. Cameo by Boo. Uh, Boo is here. You'll probably see other cats. I, I'm a cat person. I can't help it. But Chili is right. If he did write this himself, I, I give him props. I give him props. Maybe he has changed. Maybe uh, him going to different platforms and getting the same type of reaction. A lot of people is not treating him very good because people know, hey, you're a shitty person. Uh, and you've done shitty things. Why should we believe you? You're the same guy that's, uh, you know, told people uh, to have their kids have cancer, bone cancer, or, or wish cancer on them or all this stuff. And, uh, you know, doing frivolous lawsuits, bad mouthing cops, and making scenes, saying the f. I'm not even gonna spell it. Saying the f word, but not the f word that you're thinking, but the f word that we shouldn't use. You know, um, he he has used that. Uh, there's, I don't know what it is. He says that, and no, I don't know. Uh, Chili Chili does some questionable things, and uh, he's not getting a lot of fanfare. Now, you know, I've had people from Chili's camp come to my channel and say that how oh, your your content's nothing without Chili. Uh, ch this video will probably get a lot of views because Chili's in the vid. You know, we're talking about Chili, and it'll probably have a Chili thumbnail. Uh, and a lot of people will probably be like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, what you're saying about Chili is true." Uh, maybe it's not true. Maybe Chili's a bad guy. Still, I still think. Chili's the same person that uh, he was before he went off the internet. I think he's still the same person. I don't think he learned his lesson. And, you know, if if that's not true, then hopefully we'll find out. Maybe this is a good change for Chili. I hope so. 
I hope Chili maybe learned something. Um, and hopefully I learn not to stumble around my words. Because I'm really bad at that. But uh, anyways, anyways, I, I'm hoping I'm hoping that with this uh, this post, of which I, like I said, uh, props on him for making something there. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to how he's acting on his comments. Uh, I, I really haven't been paying attention. Um, you know, I just realized that Chile was back. And I was surprised by that. I don't know what the stipulations are. Uh, I don't know what he can and cannot do, especially with his live streams and videos. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the future is for our good buddy, Chili. What What are you doing, buddy? Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa! Cat goes down there. Just stay down there, bud. Uh, see? Boo just likes to be on camera. But anyways... I, I, I kind of want to just say, welcome back, Chili. Welcome back to the internet. Um, hopefully the lessons were learned. Hopefully. I hope so. I hope you have changed. Uh, but if only the one thing I think you should do is drop these stupid fucking lawsuits. Um, you adding you, YouTube to the mix is not going to help you out. Um, you're not. Th these fights are something you're not going to win. Uh, let's just go ahead and say that these you're better off doing something different uh, And I know you're gonna say why well, who am I just a fat guy that talks about me on well talks about you on the internet and uh, trolls people. Yeah I, I'm not lying. That's that's pretty accurate um, Just that's accurate it is what it is But hopefully like I said, hopefully things change. I don't know. Uh, we'll see uh, but guys, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry I stumbled and uh, all over the place. Uh, I usually usually do. If it's your first time on here and you're like, man, you stutter a lot. Uh, I do. I do. And it's been kind of worse because I'm kind of weaning myself off um, Ambien. Uh, I, I refuse to take Ambien. Uh, I was taking Ambien for a while and now I, I cut it. Uh, cold turkey. I'm not doing it anymore. Stuff scares me. But that's not an excuse. That's just <laughs> that's just a fact. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Oh.